Hi there. In this screencast, I'll share how to post a Google Doc or a Google Slide presentation in your Moodle course, or for that matter, any website where you can post a link or embed HTML. Let's say we're looking at our syllabus for our Moodle course. Now, while you're in the Google Doc, you can click the blue Share button in the upper right. And the default setting is that the document isn't shared. So on this Get Shareable link up here in the upper right of this pop-up, you'll see that the default setting is so that anyone at Lynn Benton Community College can view the document. Now this is going to require your students to be logged into both Moodle and their Google Apps account. So we consider it best practice instead to go down to the More button on this drop-down and then the second item on the top, anyone with the link. And they won't be required at that point to be logged into their Google account, only Moodle, where they've originally accessed that link. So verify that it's for view only, because you don't want your students, obviously, editing most of your course documents, especially not your syllabus, and click Save. Now at that point, you can click the Copy Link button up here in this pop-up, and now that link is copied to your clipboard. Now to your Moodle course, in the upper right, click the little gear and make sure you turn editing on. Now in the section where you want this item to appear, in this case this is the syllabus, so it needs to be in the top section of your course because it relates to the entire term, not just a given section. In the top section, click Add an Activity or Resource and you're looking for the URL resource type and it's the very bottom on the left pane. Click there and click Add. At this point the name field on top is what the the title of the link itself on your Moodle course is going to be called. So I'm just going to call it Course Syllabus. And in this external URL field I can paste it in there. Now by default, our URL resources are set up so that they appear in a new window or a new browser tab, because most of the time, you're going to be posting a link that goes outside of the Moodle system. And simply click Save and Return to Course. Now, new items in a section in your course will appear at the bottom of that section. In this case, I think I want the syllabus to be at the top. So I can just click that little grab icon on the left and drag it all the way to the top of the section. We give it a test, and there it is. Now, of course, I own this document, so I'm an editor, but when your students view it, they will be in view-only mode. Now, let's ramp it up a little bit to be more efficient if you have multiple docs to post in your course. Now, I'm in my Google Drive in the folder where my course documents are. Earlier, we talked about sharing from within an individual Google Doc. But you can apply the same kind of sharing settings. Remember how we had it for anyone with the link can view the doc. You can apply the same sharing setting to the folder itself. Let's say you can right-click on it and click on Share. You can also go up here to the breadcrumb trail and click on the folder and click on Share. Now I'm going to apply the same sharing settings I did on the individual doc to the folder itself which, of course, will apply to anything within that folder. Now all of the docs have the same sharing settings. Let's start with the week one assignment. From within Google Drive, without even opening the doc, I can right-click on that and go to Get Shareable Link. I can click that link and copy with a Control-C or Command-C on my keyboard. And now the link to that doc is in my clipboard, which I can then put in my Moodle URL. Pretty slick. I can do the same thing with the week two assignment next, and the week three assignment, etc. Pretty efficient. You can use these techniques to post Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google Presentations in your Moodle course. Now, in a future screencast, I'll share how to embed a Google presentation so it plays directly on a page in your Moodle course. I hope this information was helpful. Have a great day.